Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to the Wednesday card in this week's tarot story. So today we have the first of three Major Arcana cards in a row. So as you're probably aware, Major Arcana cards carry with them important life lessons. And when they show up, they tell us that we're at a point in our journey where we can integrate and learn these lessons. So today's Major Arcana card is the Tower Reversed. So the lesson of the Tower is that sometimes things gotta fall apart, for us to get free. And that is what we see happening here. There is a lightning bolt striking this tower. It's now on fire and people are falling out of it. <laughs> okay, the lightning bolt represents um, insight, a moment of clarity or wisdom or intuition where suddenly we understand something, we experience something in a new way. And now we realize the structure we've been living within or that has been protecting us or giving us clarity no longer matches. It's too small, it's too restrictive, and it's got to go. So lightning bolt strikes the tower, knocks the crown off the tower, the crown being the old authority, and now we are falling out of the structure and landing on the ground. And you can tell this is probably a pretty painful experience. And definitely the tower can be painful. It can be disillusioning. It can be disheartening. It can feel like your whole world's falling apart. But the lesson of the tower is that it might definitely be uncomfortable, but this is a gift from the universe. It is freeing you up and your soul is orchestrating the fall of this tower. It is ready for you to move on, to grow, to expand. And this is the step that has to happen. This card came to us reversed. And that tells me, especially based on the rest of the spread this month, that this is a lesson we did not pick up on sometime in our past. Something happened where it felt like the world caved in on us. What we wanted was taken from us. And instead of reading it as an opportunity for growth and blessing, we read it as we were being punished or <laughs> we we screwed up on something. Like somehow this was, a, all we're connecting to is the pain and discomfort of the fall. And we're not, and so we've read in our story that we made a colossal mistake and now we can't trust ourselves anymore because of that mistake. And the reason I read it that way is we've had two cards this week that are about not picking a path, not following your heart because you're you're afraid you're going to make a mistake and not moving forward in your inspiration and your motivation because uh, you'd rather just stay in the thinking stage of it. So there's this idea that we are reluctant to acknowledge the intuitive hit we are getting. We're, we're, we're slow to take steps forward. And I think it's because we're misinterpreting something from our past as having made a mistake and we're reluctant to try that again. So if you can reframe whatever this story is, not make it about you messing up and getting punished, but rather you being freed up. What happened after everything fell apart? What opportunities broke open for you? What new things occurred in your own um in your own personal walk? What new places did you explore? If you can start seeing how that catastrophe opened things up for you, you begin to realize that you are on a very clear path that your soul has created for you and you are always okay definitely uncomfortable sometimes but you were always safe and you were always on the right path for you so you're doing it again now you don't have to worry about making a mistake you know what you're doing so reframe the story that's getting in your way and and start getting back in touch with trusting yourself and following your intuition see you tomorrow for our next card bye Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you would like more content from me, please consider joining my Patreon community. The link is right here below the video. I'm committed to at least once a week um, posting content that is exclusive to my Patreon subscribers, and I do monthly giveaways where I, I send people customized tarot spreads. So if that sounds like fun to you, come on and join us. I hope to see you there. Bye.